coming around the back and let me back out so you can see this really nice entertainment space that's right here fully covered hi everyone good morning good evening good afternoon whatever time you're watching this i just hope that you're having a great day so firstly i just like to say thanks to each and every one of you who decided to watch this video today and a extra special thanks to the over 19,000 of you guys who decided to smash that subscribe button and support my dream of becoming a full-time youtuber by the end of 2022 but enough of the chattings, man, no one ready for the video. Are ready? Run me intro. Hi, Momentos. Hi, viewers. Viewers, I don't know what you guys are waiting on to become Momentos. All you have to do is to just smash that subscribe button down below and join the family. But today, we're heading to Norbrook to check out not one, but two properties courtesy of Jamaica Sotheby's Realty. I'll have both listings down in the description box below. But this particular video is for Monique Bramwell and she has a listing at Norbury Road. And it is a beautiful property based on the pictures and I'm excited to go and see it. And I hope that you guys are just as excited as I am to go and see it. The second property is at Hill Road in Norbrook. And I'm going to showcase the property in a separate video. So Gail, Gail Young from Jamaica Sotheby's Realty. That's her listing in particular. And we'll showcase that, that one in the next video that I'll post. But Monique, we're on our way to check out your property, your listing. So look out for us. Akeem out. All right, so we're here at Norbury Villas, more specifically 12 Norbury Villas and we're going to check out this beautiful home six bedrooms it has six bathrooms has a lot of entertainment space you virtually get lost in this property so of course jamaica sotheby's realty is hosting me today monique thank you for inviting me out so as you can see this place has a lot of lush greenery very nice very nice there's a powder room off the main entrance. There's a bit of modernization with this. So that's touch, nice. And there is Venetian plaster, green Venetian plaster on this particular wall. Have some more Venetian plaster on the inside. We'll check that out. As you step on the inside to your left is a study. Very nice. We have the dining area right here. Let's move to the back where the kitchen area is. And then there is a wine cellar that's right here. And then a pantry that's right here. Lots of additional storage on this side. Moving through the back. This door leads back to the outside. Mm -hmm. Coming around the wash area. And then you have the helper's quarters. That's right here. So the helper's quarters has two access points. One from the main entrance and then they have their own access point right here. And then there's a beautiful pathway right there help us quarters also comes equipped with its own bathroom and there is a closet on the inside as well and this house is huge like it's very easy to get lost inside this house it does need a bit of modernizing um, I was told somewhere along the lines of 200,000 you can modernize this for you and you can so this is one of the dining areas here TV room that's right here Move 
going on on the outside we have this nice fountain which is a beautiful touch when that's going it should look quite lovely nice greeny um, should I go this way should I go this way uh, let's go back this side hi Monique <laughs> So we're going through here. This is a really nice area. As you can see, there are a lot of antiques here. So this, the owner of this home really likes artwork and antiques and just this antique feel to the house. Coming around the back and let me back out so you can see this really nice entertainment space that's right here, fully covered. If rain is falling, you have these nice covers that you can slide to keep you nice and dry. Barita is here. And you have your very own piece of nature right next to your entertainment space. Beautiful. And it wouldn't be a Sotheby's open house without food <laughs> so you can actually walk down to this area but I won't be making that trod I'm very unfit right now but we'll head back on inside and check out downstairs so you guys can see exactly what is going on again lots of antique pieces We'll go to our right because somebody's to the left. This leads back on the outside. You have a, I would say that's a hexagon, correct me if I'm wrong, window that shows you outside. Have a swing door right here. You have additional storage. That's right there, additional storage here. You have some nice windows right here vintage style oh and if I never mention the price this house is going for 1.45 million USD so you have a bathroom down here you have another bedroom lots of antiques have a closet right here pretty nice pretty nice and let me tell you it's <laughs> It's so easy getting lost in this place. Like I'm trying to focus to remember where the different areas are. So we step inside this beautiful area. I would say it's a den. Have your nice television, your air conditioning unit has the really nice recessed lights and then there is the Venetian plaster again all the materials for this were imported and the labor was imported as well and this is a one of a kind area one of a kind plastering done in this room and in the bathroom upstairs forgot to mention as well all throughout the house Hardwood floors inside the rooms. Hello. We have a kitchenette right here. Another room right here with closet, of course. There is air conditioning already inside. Show you around the back there. Have a ceiling fan. And then there's a bathroom right here. Nice. That's the kitchen again. So we're about to head on upstairs. So that's the upstairs is where the magic happens. 
Ooh. So, should I go to my left first? So yes, going to my left, you have this area, which was originally the master, but the homeowner extended the property. So, this is now an additional room. You can turn it into a study or a lounge area of the master. If you'd like, there's a closet right there air conditioning a what brand because he recently redid this when they have a nice to take air right here again this is now the master suite very large again all this place needs is a little bit of modernizing and you'll be all set have the master or the primary bath the toilet is hidden away always a good touch you have a shower area right there you have a jacuzzi right there and the his and hers basins of our vanity don't forget to subscribe all right coming this side you have the hers closet and the his Lots of additional storage for you collectors. You see what time it is. Now we step to this side. You have one bedroom to our left. Boom. Closet space right there or additional storage. You have the shared bath for these two rooms. You have the additional room to this side again nice 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 pretty nice Ooh. turn this place was a lot of work <laughs> and then we're going to head on back downstairs so that's it for upstairs this nice chandelier vintage of course Ooh. and that's pretty much it for the tour of this beautiful space. I really like the outdoor entertainment space. Just look at it. We're coming back again to check it out. Nice. I could see myself relaxing out here. But yeah, that's it for the tour of the property. I'm going to take you guys to the pool so you guys can check it out and show you the access to the golf course from this property all right so this is the pool area so right behind us so it's a really nice pool area you have bathrooms here that you can wash off before you head away from the pool nicely kept pool you have lounge chairs that are out here you have cover in case the rain starts to fall and you have your things on the outside just a really nice pool area in the main beautiful beautiful and then you get your own private access from this particular villa or set of villas to the golf course so it's locked right now i was going to try to bore and go over there i guess you get your key and you have access so you can practice your swing if you're a golfer all right well yeah I got my seat right here so yeah that's pretty much it for this property don't forget to follow monique on instagram at monique underscore bramwell i think that's her name on instagram but if it's not i'll put it right here um and don't forget that you should comment down below and tell me what you think of this property and the goal is to live life on your own terms and that is what i'm trying to do by becoming a full-time youtuber by the end of 2022 and you can help me to do that and all you have to do is to hit that like button and hit that subscribe button and turn your post notification on but that's been enough from me ab signing out 
I didn't know it was a set of villas that are inside this particular property. It seems very secluded. It gives me a, I would say, a jungle type feel hidden away in the hills of Kingston. But giving me like an Amazon type vibe. This is the eighth. Mm. Mm -hmm.